Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at AWSI 2010 going into 2011 preview guide. I'm here with Nick. We got some beautiful looking kites over here. Let's talk about them. Oh, we're excited about the new line in addition to the new look, which you've got a tribal graphic that goes across all of our line. We have three kites in our line this year, uh, the Bolt, the Park, and the Torch. We'll start with something real familiar, the Torch that's Absolutely. been in our line for many years. This kite is uh, one of Bread the best, if not the best, kite, yep. sea kite on the market. Um, this, this side of the sport has been growing. It's yep. been coming back. You know, you're seeing more of this at a retail level, not just for pro riders, right. but people looking for a really consistent pull, you know, a lot of load and pop, uh, which a sea kite gives you. What we've done this year is added some Dacron on the not only the trailing edge, but also on the struts, giving it a real solid frame. Yep. Uh, the 11. Uh, last year was kind of used to put a little bit more into what we designed out of the 9 and 12 this year. Right. So we got a little bit more of a solid construction to the 9 and a little bit more speed out of the 12. Cool. And what size does this come in? This is comes in a uh, 6, or actually a new edition of a 5, 5, oh. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, wow. 12, 14, and 16. For all you guys uh, that want every single size, there it there is. There it is, yeah. yeah let's move <laughs> on to the park. Okay, the park. The park was uh, driven actually off of the torch design. Um, this kite, a 10 park, is basically a 12 torch body with the wingtip snipped off. Mm. We know this design it works. I mean, the yep. flying characteristics out of the torch are just amazing. Uh, so we wanted to create a kite that had those flying characteristics with the sheeting control that an yep. SLE kite provides. So you've got a bridle on this kite that comes out to a toe point that's very similar to the torch, so it's yep. very balanced, unhooked. Uh, the overall riding characteristics are very close as you're sheeted into a torch. Nice. The thing you get out of it is when you depower as opposed to the torch where you really have to push your board out to be able to depower the kite. Right. This kite, you sheet out, kills the power of it, Easy. sits on the edge of the window. Um, because it's just a clipped off wingtip, it's only three struts, so it's an extremely nice. light kite. Sits there, waits yep. for you to power it back up, and it's good to go. Cool. This kite's going to be you know, probably our biggest seller of the year. We're extremely excited about yep. it and uh, looking forward to having it in our line. What size is that coming? That comes in 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so all even numbers. Wow, very, very nice. And let's move on to the last kite. The okay. The Bolt, uh, this is a new addition, but it's a, it, the Sigma series is something we've had in our line since 2008. Uh, we've had a Kultner Helix in our line until now. Yep. This is a combo of both. Wow, um, best so of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Turning characteristics, speed of the Helix, but yep. the stability and control of the Colt. Nice. Especially in the smaller sizes, we emphasized more on stability and control where the yep. Colt excelled. And then in the bigger sizes, we concentrated more on low end, grunt, right. speed, especially in the 12, 14, yep. and 16 this year. Wow. Uh, wow. In the bigger kites, you're looking for more speed, you're looking yep. for, for grunt power, whereas in the smaller kites, you're looking for more more control and stability. Nice. This kite is definitely for the rider that's looking for something that is as stable as it gets. Nice. You know, definitely in gusty winds or conditions yep. that are very variable. This also is as good as gets. Also for schools and stuff. Exactly. Yep. 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 Very nice. And what size is this coming? This comes in three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, twelve, and fourteen, and sixteen. Again, another one of those kite series that you can buy every single size and he'll he'll make sure you get one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're right on. All right, Thank thanks you so a much. lot. Appreciate it. Yep. There you have it. Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at AWSI 2010 going into 2011 preview guide. I'm here with Nick at Nash and uh, let's talk about this uh, uh, bar you're here, you have. Thanks a lot. Well, the new 2011 bar is very similar to what we've had for the past couple of years with the smart loop system below the bar depower. Uh, we've got a yellow safety line that's a full flagging depower. And then the below the bar depower is the same system we've had for a few years, just easy cleating system. Uh, now kind of becoming almost an industry standard for the blow of the bar D power. Yep. Uh, push away release, which is a patent release system, it's just easy push away. Uh, easy to be able to fix it out in the water even with one hand. The new um, thing with this bar is that you've got a, um, we moved the uh, release system to a little bit lower, giving you a little bit more room to work with the D power. And then there's a new fixed stopper ball on here. Uh, it's one of those things you might not even notice until you get out on the water, but one thing this does is it only allows you to trim this kite a decent amount, but not to the point where it starts preventing the kite from flying right. Uh, a lot of people were depowering their kite too much and choking the kites out, so we added this on to make sure the kites flew right.
Uh, still the sliding stopper ball. The sliding stopper ball now comes on stock on all the bars before you had to put it on yourself, but now they just come direct on the bars because the, but the bar does work better with the stopper ball on it. Cool. What uh, size bars do these come in? It is a one size bar. It comes in an 18 to 20 inch adjustable. There's on the ends here. Yep. There's an adjustable system to be able to toggle this on either on the inside or the outside. The inside nice. system will feel like an 18 inch bar. The outside system will feel like a 20. Wow, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's move on to the harnesses and the rest of the stuff you have. Perfect. The two new harnesses this year. Uh, the mission is first. Um, bar pad included. Nice solid system full wrap interior um, the new thing we've got this year on both the mission and the cartel is a quick release you pull this off if you are getting dragged by your kite Boom. instead of having to search around for your leash you can actually pop this you always know where it is and right. it gets rid of the kite uh, it's a great safety safety feature and you know i think that it'll become kind of an industry standard nice the um, difference between the mission and the cartel besides the look in the cartel there's a 3d molded pad in the in the back here which gives you a ton of support the mission's going to be a little bit lighter weight whereas the cartel is going to have more support to it again the bar pad included um, with the quick releases very easy system clean and nice support nice very nice harnesses. let's talk about the bag all right, one new thing we've got, one of the bags that we've sold the most is golf bags. Um, yeah. But because of the weight restrictions on airlines, which is 50 pounds in most yeah. places, um, get you every time. the wheels on a golf bag and the bag weigh about 16 pounds, whereas the bag that we're looking at here is just a lightweight, empty construction, nothing more than you need. Um, you can fit at least an extra kite in here and get underweight. I know so, some girls that'll be able to fit in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hence the body bag. Hence the body bag, but it works, it makes it, it happen. It, no, it's great, and, and I travel around with this with two twin tips and four kites and have no problems with the weight limits, right which on, is great. Right Let's take a look at this bag underneath here. Golf bag on the uh, on the lower side is the new golf bag. This is uh, the same bag we've had for years. Again, it's got a rollers on the bag, which yep. do make it easier to get through the airport. Uh, if you're not worried about weight, this is a perfect bag. I mean, it's easy to get all your stuff in. Uh, the new addition of the YKK zippers that we have this year allow you to have, you know, if you wreck a tooth on this, it's not going to cause it yep. any problems. I mean, these things really hold up over time, so it's a great new addition. Well, thank you so much, Nick, thank you. for walking Appreciate the whole line it. with yeah. us, and there you guys have it. See you guys. Uh, also, where, yeah. for more information on all the products, where can they go online? Everything for 2011 is on NashKites.com. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much. All right.